Breaker Broke 23. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to hook up high fidelity Bluetooth. And I'm not kidding, this is high fidelity Bluetooth. This is the new Audio Engine B1. Um, I like this unit. I also like the Blue Dento. Um, B, or, uh, Blue Dento, uh, what is it? BLT HD. This unit is Bluetooth 5.0, so it's the newest Bluetooth technology. It is Aptic XHD processing. It has a 28 bit. Uh, DAC built into it, very flexible. We have analog RCA outputs on the rear. We have our power input, and this little puppy right here is the optical output. So this actually allows us to use a outboard DAC. So if you want to bring, kick it up even another notch, um, you can do that. So what we're going to use here is we're going to hook it up tonight on this SA404, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I've got the unit turned around, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up audio. It's very important. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook it up to the auxiliary input on this. All of my ins and outs are open and free, so I'm quite flexible. If you folks already have, like, say, a CD player or something like that on your auxiliary, you could go to a tape in if you would like, tape one or two in. I am going to use auxiliary. So red is right, as always. And we're going to go left. And then we're going to take our other end of our RCA cord, and we're going to go to left on the analog output right on that one. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the little AC wall adapter to it and then let's see I need my glasses. Here we go. We're going to plug that sucker in like that. We'll set it up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this AC adapter and I'm going to plug it into the back of the receiver. Now here's the deal. Some receivers, actually a lot of them, most all of them have a switched 12 or 110 volt output. And what that means is whenever you turn the stereo on and off, it'll turn your Bluetooth adapter on and off. But I do not have a switched, I have an unswitched. And that's gonna work actually just fine with the B1. Because the B1, if you don't use this for uh, six minutes or more, it actually turns off and goes to sleep. Then is all you have to do is uh, hit the power button on the front. So I'm gonna spin this thing around, I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, so I have the unit turned on. Let's turn on the stereo, let's go to auxiliary. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up my Bluetooth. These things pair up so easily. Um, the Audio Engine B1 and the Blue Dento uh, BLTHD are currently my favorite to go Bluetooth units. So let's power up. Okay, it's not flashing anymore. We have a solid LED. Did you see how quick that was? I mean, that was just like lightning fast. That was awesome. Okay, let's find some music. There we go. That's awesome. Okay, that was pretty easy. What did it take us? Just a couple minutes, so that's not a big deal at all. Okay, when you turn the stereo off, and then you turn off your phone, or you just disconnect uh, the Bluetooth, in about six minutes, that will go to sleep and everything's done. Enjoy your high fidelity Bluetooth because this, this new Bluetooth stuff is just, it's just awesome sounding. It sounds great. It's not like old school Bluetooth. So if you tried Bluetooth uh, years ago and you didn't like it, you didn't think it sounded very good, get something like this because it is like way up there. This is top shelf stuff. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.